Welcome to the Cabral Concept, where board-certified naturopath and integrative health practitioner Dr. Stephen Cabral shares how he was diagnosed at the age of 17 with a life-altering illness and given no hope for recovery. It was only after studying and traveling all over the world did he discover how to combine ancient Ayurvedic healing practices with state-of-the-art naturopathic and functional medicine to fully rebalance the body and re-energize it with life. It's time to discover how to get well, lose weight, and finally feel alive again. And now, here's your host, Dr. Stephen Cabral. Welcome back, everyone. We are here with episode 2501 of the Cabral Concept. This is our second Cabral host call of the weekend, and we're going to get to more of our community's questions. Excited to get into all things wellness, weight loss, weight gain, anti-aging, and anything that you can possibly imagine uh, if it relates to health in terms of the mind and the body and, and overall, again, like I said, and yesterday's show, uh, living our best life possible. So let's dive right into it. We know why we're all here. Hopefully you've been a longtime listener of the show. If not, well, welcome. We appreciate you being a part of this global health community. Uh, always feel free to join at uh, cabralsupportgroup.com. Totally free Facebook group, and you can get same day answers right over there. Uh, and well, let's get started. So let me open up our special document that is all of the questions that come in each and every week. My team does such a great job at pulling these together from the Ask a Brawl form and putting them into a Word document, or in my case, a pages document that I can read easily. All right. So first question is from Stacy. And again, if you want to follow along with the questions, they're at stephencabral.com forward slash 2501 for today's show. Zero one, technically. Okay. So Stacy says, hello, Dr. Brawl. I first want to thank you to say, let me, let me take it from the top here. <laughs> I often get like this when I've been reading and speaking all day. So we're going to do a take two here. Hello, Dr. Brawl. I first want to say how much I'm enjoying your podcast and learning so much. I've had a lot of bad symptoms due to POTS dysautonomia that was diagnosed four years ago, but I've been suffering for 16 years with lots of other symptoms, and by far my worst symptom is extreme sensory sensitivity. The smallest thing like running into a friend at the grocery store and saying hi gives me a seizure type feeling. I feel as if my eyes will roll behind my head and get super hot and lose the ability to say certain words. Words. It's absolutely horrible and has robbed my life. I'm in the process of doing the big five and praying it will help. In the meantime, what are your top supplements you recommend to calm the nervous system down? I feel like I'm a hermit, unable to go to movies, ball games, dinner parties, etc. Family and friends don't understand what I'm going through at the end. It's all extremely depressing. Thanks for all your help. All right. Stacy, totally understand where you're coming from. That was me. Back in the day, I too had postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome, dysautonomia. I've talked about it on the podcast m- many times. If you want to look it up at stephencabral.com forward slash podcast, I had Addison's disease. Get where you're coming from. The same symptoms happened to me just walking up six or seven stairs. Heart rate would spike. And, and so here's the issue. With dysautonomia, the body experiences stress like a lot of other people, but it's not able to then counteract it. So the stress snowballs and it overwhelms the nervous system, just like you stated. So um, you have to, if you have not, please read the rain barrel effect. I pay for the book now to be printed. Literally, it's free at stephencabral.com. Just grab a free book. Um, You pay for the shipping, but I pay to have the book printed. So it's half price. Um, And then again, if any money is made on my end, which there is on Amazon, I donate 100% of it to charity. So, uh, and again, we donate to B1G1 right now. Anyway, um, so, because it's not one thing. Like, I can't give you one thing. It's diet, it's exercise, but again, you can't do too much. All you can do right now is most likely walk, but you need to cause hermetic stressors to the nervous system so that your body gets stronger, and you have to do it slowly. It's called a graduated exercise program. I mean, I would love you to take IHP. This would teach you that. If, you, if you're open to it, go to integrativehealthpractitioner.org. Even if you don't want to become a certified health coach, This goes really in depth. I mean, it really does. So, but diet, calming foods, right? Exercise, slowly pushing the body, stress reduction, right? Rest, are you getting eight to nine hours of sleep a night? Toxin removal, gentle. Emotional balance, what are you doing to work on emotional balance? Triggers, stress, trauma in your life, right? Supplements, okay? Daily foundational protocol, level two or level three plus most likely the immunity protocol. All right, we've got that. What next? Success mindset. You're going to be able to figure this out. 
I did. I know you can. It's not easy. It doesn't have to be easy, though. You can still do it. I know you'll do it. No doubt about it. All right? So hopefully that's helpful, and let us know how we can help along the way. Pre's up next, and we will. Trust us. Trust me. We will. We'll do everything we can for you. Pre's up next. Hi, Dr. C. Love your show. Was wondering if you have multiple issues. If you have multiple issues. I, I have multiple issues, yes. Uh, but answering your question, what if you have H. pylori, gut bacteria, heavy metals, candida, etc.? Which issue program do you start with first? Would you start with detoxifying heavy metals first? All right, so this is a perfect example of just reaching out at cabralsupportgroup.com. And I'm, again, Priya, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna answer your question. I'm happy to do that. But I have podcasts on all of these things. Meaning like, instead of me giving you a two, three minute answer on a Cabral house call, I have 20 minute podcast on every single one of these things. So this is called um, basically from foundational to then working up the levels. Like you need to do your foundational protocols first from most egregious to least egregious. So, um, and I'll give you the short run and then just reach out at cabralsupportgroup.com and the amazing Michelle or Daniel will just share the podcast where I talked about this. And usually it's actually one or two podcasts, not multiple. Um, okay, so first is parasites, then H. pylori, but H. pylori is usually done at the same time. Then you're doing the CBO protocol for candida and bacteria, okay? Then after that, CBO finisher, and at the same time as CBO finisher, you can do the heavy metal detox. So typically it's 21 day detox, then whatever you need to work on that's most egregious first. Now, if you have high levels of lead, if you have high levels of mercury, yeah, you're gonna do heavy metal first, that's most egregious. Then if not though, 21 day detox, Parasite protocol with the intestinal cleanse, H. pylori if needed, CBO protocol, CBO finisher, after that mold or after that um, heavy metal, like whatever you need next, okay? So that's basically how we do it. Again, I'm not giving you any medical advice, medical treatment plans, medical diagnosis, or medical cures. That's what we do in our practice to work on the underlying root causes, and it works great. All right, Tori is up next. Tori says, hi, Dr. Brawl. About a year ago, my daughter, who's four, was unofficially diagnosed with periodic fever syndrome by an infectious disease doctor. She was experiencing very frequent fevers up to a week long, every month or more. Since seeing a functional medicine chiropractor in my own extensive research, the fevers have mostly subsided with vitamin C, vitamin D3 and K2, and vitamin A supplementation daily. Her tonsils were still are quite large. I'm curious if there's more I should be doing to support our immune system, shrink her tonsils. She has never been... And then we've got that V word. We're not going to say it on air. Uh, we also opted not to remove the tonsils. Okay. So, uh, okay. Well, I'm happy to help with this. This is one of my pet peeves with conventional medicine. So you go to this amazing infectious disease doctor, you know, four extra years of school, uh, residency, all this brilliance. And then they give you a term like IBS, right? Irritable bowel syndrome. You go to the doctor, it's like, oh, doctor. I get bloating and gas after all meals. It's embarrassing. I, I can't go out to dinner. Oh, I can tell you exactly what you have. You have IBS. And you're like, oh, I have IBS. Thank you. Now I finally know what I have. And you go home and you Google it and you're like, oh, I have irritable bowel syndrome. Oh, well, they basically just told me I have irritable bowels. I already know I have irritable bowels. I needed a doctor who's, you know, a, a brilliant doctor telling me I have irritable bowels? Like, that's unbelievable. Same thing, infectious disease doctor. Oh, you have periodic fever syndrome. Oh, oh, you, you're telling me I periodically, I mean, every once in a while, get a fever. Brilliant diagnosis, brilliant, brilliant, right? I mean, it's unbelievable that we put like conventional medicine on this pedestal and, and this is what we get. Uh, again, I have many colleagues that are MDs and they are brilliant, but we, we have to do better than we have to do that better than this for, for people. Okay. But I'm glad that you found a great functional medicine chiropractor and your own research and you're starting to get well. So love it. Fantastic. Keep on keeping on. Okay. And, and you know, so again, you might want to look at other things like some omega-3s in there, um, zinc, etc. But anyway. All right. So I did a whole podcast on children's vitamin and children's immune system. And all I want you to do is reach out to cabralsupportgroup.com and ask, hey, what is Dr. Cabral's tonsil uh, protocol, healthy tonsil protocol? We have to call it that, right? No medical diagnosis or treatment plans. Healthy tonsil protocol for children and healthy children's immune protocol. And our team will get you that, right? They'll link up the podcast because I'm not sure what podcast it is, but we'll get it for you, no doubt about it. Did the same one with uh, my uh, oldest daughter. My oldest daughter took two and a half months to shrink her tonsils. It was worth it, okay? 
it was worth it. That's bottom line. She didn't have to have them removed. She gets to keep one of some, one of the largest lymph nodes in her body that are meant to help her for the entire life. Better that we took our time, shrunk those tonsils. She was so proud of herself. She learned about natural health. And, uh, and that's that. All right. So thank you for writing in. Okay. Anonymous is up next. And they are saying, hi, Dr. Brawl. Thank you so much for all the knowledge you share with us. You're truly a blessing. Thank you, Anonymous. I've struggled with histamine and salicylate intolerance for a while now. I'm mostly okay when I avoid my trigger foods, but I want to fully heal. I can't currently afford lab testing, so I've had to do a lot of guessing to figure out what is going on with me. I took out all the foods I'm sensitive to, and I've improved my lifestyle to offer my body more rest and reduce toxicities. I recently started taking a histamine probiotic formulated for people with histamine intolerance, and I've had a lot of digestive, di digestive discomfort taking it. I'm going to remove the name of the probiotic because I don't want to talk negatively about any other company. Um, so I'm just going to write uh, X, 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 X. Okay. Um, and I had a lot of digestive difficulty as well as fatigue and skin rashes. I then used activated charcoal since I suspected this, I was dealing with die off and it helped a bit. Similarly, I've had negative effects with other supplements, methylated B vitamins. Yeah, I understand where you're coming. Met methylfolate, histamine intolerance uh, made me depressed and gave me severe fatigue. L-glutamine also made me really depressed. Understand, omega-3 supplements. Okay, so I've, I've seen this many, many times. All right, so allow me to, to try to just give you uh, another opinion. That's it. All right. So when someone's liver is congested, all of a sudden foods, vitamins, the outside world is no longer tolerable. Your body cannot, yes, your liver works again, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. I understand, but it's no longer keeping up with as much as it should. So you're more sensitive now to the outside world. Now, there could also be gut permeability issues. So what do we do? My highest recommendation is for now, we're going to lower the salicylate food lo you know, tolerance load. So we're basically getting rid of a lot of nightshades and high salicylate-based foods. We're doing a 21-day functional medicine detox, ideally by the book. The second thing is if we can't lab test and do the bacteria and parasite stool test, if you're open to it, we're going to do the CBO protocol, uh, potentially with the citrocidal drops, up to you, and then a half dose of the CBO finisher, which has glutamine, because what's happening is, since your body's not able to process the glutamine, it's converting it over more to glutamate or glutamic acid, which is then causing the anxiety or depression or mood-based issues. And you can actually see that on a neurotransmitter test that we run. All the labs that we run are at stephencabral.com forward slash shop. All the protocols that we use, like the CBO protocol, are at stephencabral.com forward slash shop. So again, you never have to use them, but at least look at what we do and, and then go from there, all right? So let's work in the gut. Let's work on the potential gut permeability so that it's not overloading the liver. Let's do a functional medicine detox to reduce liver load. Let's start sweating a bit more with saunas and exercise, those types of things. And um, let's empty that rain barrel, for sure. If you haven't read The Rain Barrel Effect, please do so. Again, it's free at stephencabral.com. You just pay shipping. All right, Jen is up next. Hi, I just did a lab test that showed my industrial toxicant level of 2-hydroxybutyric acid was extremely high, off the charts. What could this be caused by, if not from groundwater, and what would you suggest for my system? I feel like this level is so high, it can't possibly solely be from water I'm showering in since I never drink it. My husband and I are currently starting the seven-day detox, followed by the CBO and CBO finisher. Both of our levels of ravenose were quite high. I'm doing all this testing to further investigate what's causing me to constantly feel nauseous. I have mild stomach aches almost daily. Thank you for your input. I absolutely love your podcast. I listen to them daily in my drive to work. I enrolled in IHP level one and can't wait to complete it to get into the meat of level two. All right. Well, happy to help, Jen. And, you know, it's it's interesting because um, I just want to make sure you got your health coaching call with one of our coaches um, on the Equal Life team. So, like, again, that's why we include these free with the, with the um, labs. And, and I'm not going to be able to, you know, look you up in the account now to see um, if you were given a plan or anything. But it's not... I don't think that we're necessarily looking at an industrial toxicant, right? 
Because if I think that you ran, I think that you ran the um, candida metabolic and vitamins test, and I think maybe you did some, you know, googling to to see that it was an industrial toxicant, but really, um, this can actually be a, a overgrowth inside the intestines, and be caused by an improper imbalance in short chain fatty acids and bacterial overgrowth, and so I'm not sure that there is a toxicity-based issue. I'm not saying there's not, but um, I'm not leaning that way right now since you know that there's gut-based issues and that's why you're doing the CBO protocol and maybe you're, you're adding those citrocetal drops as well. So unless you did the environmental toxicity test, which is different than the candida metabolic and vitamins test, uh, I can't say that this is you know, a water toxicity issue or, or any toxicity issue. Okay, because this when you see butyric acid, it can be caused by uh, an overgrowth uh, of bacteria or improper bacterial imbalance in the intestines. All right, so hopefully that was helpful. All right, one more question for today. It's from Emily. Emily says, let's see, could you, hi Dr. Brawl, could you explain the shigamati pathway and how it's affected by glyphosate? Thank you, Emily. Wow, I haven't seen that word in years. All right, so I think that this is uh, stump Dr. <laughs> stump Dr. Cabral uh, time. So let's do a little recall here because again, I, I don't, um, I, I can't go and do in depth research for you right now. Shigamati pathway is in bacteria and fungus. That's how I mainly know it. I know it's in plants as well, and it is essentially utilizing and I th the, there's, I think there's like six or seven steps in a metabolic pathway. It's almost like the Krebs cycle for being able to utilize certain amino acids. The reason why I know about it is because some of those amino acids or some of those nutrients uh, that we need and from certain plants, et cetera, are folate and ubiquinone, uh, which you know I look at as, as CoQ10. And so um, I know glyphosate essentially blocks part of that pathway. And now I don't know that I'm going to be able to recall the word, Corsmat, Corsmate, uh, it's blocks one of the essential amino acids needed in this particular pathway. So I am not uh, an expert in plant you know, biology and biosynthesis of these bacteria and nutrients. That's not my expertise. I always tell you when it's not my expertise, this is not my expertise. Um, so certainly like if I was able to research it for a while, I could give you a better answer, but I'm not, I'm not the expert in this space. I just know that glyphosate greatly affects the bacteria, fungus, which is why I'm so against it on our food, because we have bacteria and we have natural fungi yeast in our gut, and, uh, and it can affect plants that we actually eat as well. So hopefully at least maybe that got you started somewhere, uh, but it also goes to show that I am uh, when I step outside of my realm, I'm not an expert in that, and I just try to share with you uh, what I've experienced in, and, and that's not my expertise. So hopefully this was helpful. I love being stumped. I have no problems with that, no problem admitting it. So thank you all. I appreciate you, and uh, have an amazing start to the week. Our mindset and motivation is coming tomorrow. Take care. Before you go, I wanted to ask you this question. What if I could teach you in just a couple of hours how to transform your thyroid, hormones, adrenal, cholesterol, blood pressure, blood sugar, weight loss, energy, mood, brain, pregnancy, anti-aging, or many other health-related issues? After 20 years in private practice, after seeing and overseeing a quarter of a million client appointments, I sincerely feel I have the real-world data and have found the answer you've been searching for. So what I've done is spent hundreds of hours of my own time refining what you need to know in order to uncover your underlying root cause health issues and then begin to rebalance the body and bring it back to a state of robust health and wellness. I'm going to teach you exactly what I do in my private practice so you can understand how you got here and now what you need to do in order to heal. You'll receive all of the important success checklists, protocols, and even ways to customize it to make the program fit your busy life. And you'll get all of this at a fraction of the price. Let me save you the time, money, energy, stress, and frustration of not knowing what to do next. Instead of reading dozens of books on the topic and seeing multiple practitioners, I will condense everything that you need to know in just a few hours of video tutorials that you can watch and listen to anywhere. Together, we will make this healing process 
an enjoyable one that you can take with you for the rest of your life. I wish you all of the best of health and happiness, and I hope to be able to guide you on your healing journey through my health results accelerators. Simply choose the health and balance you're currently suffering from, and by the end of today, you'll know what went wrong and how to get well again. I guarantee it. For details, head over now to stephencabral.com forward slash courses.